Hello everybody, Juan here. Welcome to a new SQL tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you SQL Fiddle, which is a completely browser-based tool that allows you to really easily test if your SQL queries are correct. So first, let me walk you through this tool. The first interesting feature that you have is you're able to select which SQL dialect you want to use. For this tutorial, we're going to be using Microsoft SQL Server or T-SQL, also known as T-SQL. To use this tool, we first have to create a DDL statement, which is short for Data Definition Language. Essentially, we just need to create a table and we can do this in SQL. My table is going to be called test and I'm going to add an ID which is of the integer type and let's just say first name which is from the bar chart or variable characters and it can be up to let's say 200. That's plenty. And this is how we define the table, but this is still an empty table. If you want to add data to it, we need to type insert into test. Now define which are the columns which you want to add data. So ID first name, then the keyword values, and then we can just pass how exactly we want these rows to look like. So for example, I want the first row to be just my name. The second row, I want it to be an empty uh, string. Third row, I just want a no value. Oh, sorry, comma. Fourth row, I want certain number of spaces. Fifth row, I want also some spaces, but not as many as in the other one. And finally, let's just add another name real name so let's just do carlos i'm gonna close this statement with a semicolon indicating that that's the end of my script and now i'm gonna build schema now it already processed it looks like everything is correct and the table that i just defined should be queryable from this right side let's just check it works and that's it. This is the table that we just defined in the left side. At any moment, I'm able to just do some changes, insert more data, delete some data. And I do think this tool is really useful. For starters, you don't need to install anything, but it also allows you to test if your script is still correct when you keep on adding boundary conditions like Will this formula still give me the expected result even when I add this extra value? Which is, I think, quite nice. Also, even though it gives you an execution plan and it tells you how much time it took to execute, in my experience, this hasn't really been a very reliable source of... Yeah, I, I wouldn't really recommend just checking how long your query took using SQL Fiddle. But I genuinely recommend this tool if you have different dialects and you just want to test how different data would look like. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little bit. Stay tuned. In our next video, I'm going to be showing you some interesting formulas which maybe inspire you or help you. Thanks for watching.